What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another live stream. Wait, let me move my camera over. Welcome back to the live stream for the Scale It Learning channel. And today we are back at it with more SAT math for the digital SAT straight from Khan Academy. This is an excellent resource if you are studying for the digital SAT math portions. Here I'm going through all of the math categories, 37 in total. Now we're on to data representations. This is not actually category five. It's category five under problem solving and data analysis. So we are making our way, we're getting close to the halfway point, which is pretty cool. And again, this is the foundations level, which is, I, I guess, the lowest difficulty level. Uh, then we'll move up through the ranks and kind of try and get through as much as we can, hopefully all of it by, by the end of March. So that's the plan. That's the goal. You're here with me. I'm and do these questions for the first time. So you watch me solve in real time and explain in real time. And that's how I feel is the best way to learn. So without further ado, let's get into data representations. Thomas took his body temperature every day for the past seven days. The results are shown in the graph. What was Thomas's body temperature on day four? This is straight up how to read a graph. So you look at this. We got day on the x-axis, temperature on the y-axis. What is it on day four? So day four is right here, and we need that corresponding temperature, which can we find that point on the graph when we go straight across. What is that? So this is 98, 99, and it's split up into fifths, or AKA 0 0.2. So this would be 98.2, 98.4, 98.6, 98. .2, 98 .4, 98.6, 98.6, 0.8 and the 99 so 98.8 should be the winner let's take a look yep there it is wow close close look at that boom it is correct all right moving on the students of oceanside high school voted on the school's new mascot the results are shown in the bar graph what percent of the students voted for the kraken okay and let's read this again it's all about reading the graph this is straight up percent of students they want the percent and this is straight up percent Kraken is right here, and it looks like it goes to 40%. That's it. Read it carefully. Enter it. Don't put a percent sign, right? It says that right here. We just put 40. That's how you do it. Boom, done. Question three. The graph shows average rainfall in millimeters in Jakarta, Indonesia. Based on the graph approximately, what is the average rainfall in Jakarta? Wait. Average rainfall. Oh, in October. Sorry, I, I missed that. Okay. All right, this is kind of a weird graph, but it's January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. There's October. Okay, so we got October, and we've got 100 right here. So that's it. And is it in millimeters? Yes, it is. Make sure to double check that graph. 100 millimeters. That's how you do it. Done. Question number four, last question. Hal's Hostel has... 25 rooms. The histogram shows the distribution of the number of guests in the rooms. How many hostel rooms have 12 to 15 guests? So again, in here, this would be like zero to three would be three. Four to seven would be number of hostel rooms would be five. You get what I'm saying? So where's 12 to 15? It's right here. 12 to 15, that number matches up with six. So there are six hostel rooms with 12 to 15. So we're looking for the answer six. There we have it with C. That's how you do it. Done. Okay. So we've got all of these, and that is it. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are watching this video and you like what you see, make sure to click that like button. Again, you're welcome to leave questions in the question section after the fact. If you're watching it live, you can ask me a question right here, and I'll get back to you. What's up? Uh, Ma Shadiq Wajaya. Oh, it looks like you retracted your message. Anyways. That's it, guys. We're doing a slow build up to this March SAT, and I'm on the grind even though it's only January, but we're going to be working hard. Uh, the rest of this month, next month, and even into early March to get you guys ready for this SAT. I'll be back later today with another one of these and a really important video on all the best resources and how to study for the SAT, digital SAT that is. Thank you guys so much for joining and I will see you in the next video. Take it easy.